Welcome to today's tutorial. Today's tutorial is about the equal concept. Now, what is the equal concept? Now, equal concept uh, clearly means that we are talking about two fractions that are equal, which means that in this case, 3 fifth of Tony's money, I'm going to highlight this, 3 fifth of Tony's money, alright, is the same, alright as 2 7 of Mary's money so you can see fraction equal fraction alright that's why it's, it's called an equal concept fraction is the same as another fraction so the, f the first thing that we should do for a equal concept is not to make the denominator the same but it's to make the numerator the same so that's 3 5th of 20 Alright, and we have is equal to 2 7 of Mary. Now we're going to make this numerator the same. So 3 7 is actually just so it's the same as 6 out of 10 of Tony's money, it's the same as. 6 out of 21 units of Mary's money and you can see that I have actually multiplied this fraction uh, top and bottom by 2 why? because I've made use of the common multiple concept to convert 3 and 2 into a common multiple of 6 and that's how I got 6 for the numerator to be uh, the common numerator so 6 6 out of 10 of Tony's money is the same as 6 out of 21 units of Mary's money and clearly out of this from these two fractions I can see that Tony has actually 10 units alright Tony has 10 units out of which 6 unit is the same as Mary alright and Mary has 21 units alright Mary has 21 units out of which 6 units okay out of which 6 units the same as Tony you can see the number of units they have the same it's the same alright 6 units of Tony equal to 6 units of Mary so now what's important now is this this is important okay the rest is not important anymore so now Tony have 10 units Mary have 21 units now what is the difference between the two alright the difference between Tony and Mary is 11 units okay, which is 21 units minus 10 units 21 minus 10 you have a difference of 11 units which means that Mary actually has 11 units more than Tony and the next thing we can find out is the total the total is 31 units okay, which is 10 units plus 21 units that will give me 31 units okay now these two are very important information very important information that we must know okay and now let's carry on to look at the question now Mary has $33 more than Tony $33 more than Tony which means that this 11 units because Mary have 11 units more than Tony okay which means that of 11 units so this 11 units is actually the same as $33 okay this 11 units is the same as the $33 because Mary has $33 more than Tony and Mary have 11 units more than Tony so 11 units is $33 therefore one unit must be $33 divided by 11 units and that give me three dollars 
And now the question, how much do they have all together? How much do they have all together? Which means that we know that they have a total of 31 units. All together 31 units. So let's find out how much do they have in total. Total they have 31 units. So which is three dollars times thirty one units and they'll give me ninety three dollars and there you got it so they have ninety three dollars all together that's it it's very easy equal concept it's very easy so the first thing we need to do is identify that this question is actually an equal concept whenever you see a fraction equals another fraction. And that's when you need to make the numerator to be the same. Alright, and I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, um, feel free to go through this video again until you're absolutely clear. Alright, have a nice day. Goodbye.